Oke, okay, welcome to my channel, uh, Dreamobat. Uh, first of all, I want to apologize if I make this video uh, too too soon. I think, or you know, it is just a coincidence that in uh, on this day a plane crashed and then uh, yeah, I create this video. I don't have any means to you know make a fortune from this accident uh, my deepest condolence to all the family and to all the passengers that uh, until right now we, we, we can't really tell that uh, what happened to them but all I know there is an aircraft accident from Sriwijaya Air so yeah this video actually uh, just a, a resume from uh, a webinar I think so at January 8 I was uh, you know sharing uh, some of my opinion etc about safety riding and safety gear about about uh, defensive riding and etc and then uh, there, there, there was a, uh, a question that asking uh, how we survive a fatal accident and this is correlated to the motorcycle accident not really a, uh, an aircraft uh, accident so I, I don't really mean to you know uh, uh, make some fortune I just want to uh, share what I have to because uh, at, at the webinar I don't really finish uh, my answer or yeah you know just just answering that question in short term not really describing everything to the audience so yeah because because i don't i don't really have the you know the the video of the webinar so i have to create another one on my own youtube channel so yeah that's it okay uh, because this video addressed to my foreign viewers for my english speaking audience uh, i believe all you all uh, all of you already know about a g Okay, G. What is G? G is something that we receive uh, from accelerating or decelerating. And what is G uh, came from? Uh, well, G, G, uh, G itself stands uh, for gravitation. And uh, yeah, uh, almost all scientists all around the world using that term uh, to you know create some some parameters to calculate something easier. Right, how, like, like, sorry, like, uh, how much G that human really, you know, stem from an accident, etc. Well, uh, you can you can look up to NCBI or etc. You know, you know some 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 instantion that that or, or or college that have some discussion about the G itself and how how human body can could uh, tolerate that, ma uh, that much amount but usually you can find uh, you, you will find uh, around 20 uh, until 40 G <coughs> and then how, how do we calculate the G well that's actually pretty simple uh, G itself came from an acceleration or deceleration if in physics everything is uh, having some you know acceleration when, when they uh, change the, their velocity so for example, you, you you were riding your motorcycle from 10 kilometers an hour, and then uh, one second later, uh, you will uh, you have uh, 20 kilometers an hour. So you have uh, an acceleration around 10 kilometers uh, per second, not really per hour, but 10 kilometers per second, just like that. Uh, sorry, uh, not really 10 kilometers per second, but around uh, 0 0.36, and then. Uh, around three, uh, three, not three, yeah, three, three point two, three point three uh, kilometers uh, per second. So that's your acceleration. Okay, and then uh, when when the human body uh, collide with something, it will you know uh, felt some impact, and uh, if if the body itself could you know did, uh, or could but uh, not could but you know uh, didn't really get hurt 
like uh, get sliced or, or get uh, really uh, big damage, uh, big structural damage in their body, uh, they might live, but not. Uh, but if they felt a little bit, uh, a little bit more uh, gist, they might have uh, a fatal injury. So that, that's why we we call it uh, a fatality rate from from 20 gist or or more or, or more. Uh, and I, I I don't bother. Uh, explaining uh, why that happened because uh, that's not really my field. You can ask your doctor, uh, your doctor, wh why that, that thing was happening to your body, etc., etc. I was just explaining uh, how much G and how to calculate that G. Okay, and then uh, let's take uh, some some uh, real quick examples. Uh, let's say uh, you were sp uh, you were speeding your motorcycle at, at 60 km, km an hour and then uh, you fell from that bike and then or, or you just uh, you know cross cross some some concrete in front of you and then uh, the the gap between you and and the concrete uh, around one meters uh, sorry one meter and then uh, you, you felt some some distillation from your body until you, you get the impact it means that you will fall around uh, you know, 60 uh, divided by 3.6 uh, zero uh, times uh, 0 0.36 and then uh, around 18 18 meter per second so if, if there is a gap around you know uh, one meter and then you will get around 1.8 g uh, if your body managed to be uh, uh, somehow intact in that accident you might live but uh, if your body colliding some uh, some you know some knives etc yeah you might be doomed but yeah uh, assuming that your body was intact if you have some spare uh, some spare distance around one meters you might uh, leave that uh, collision or accident but then uh, if you get some uh, unfortunate accident like uh, you will just uh, like you know uh, launch from your bike at the speed of 60 kilometers an hour and then uh, you will hit your your you uh, you uh, you will your body will uh, your body hit the, the concrete and you probably uh, going to die because of that accident why because uh, the momentum that was received to your body uh, received that your body received uh, was too much let's say uh, the speed was around 18 meters per second and then uh, your deceleration uh, distance only uh, 0.1 meter it means that uh, the G you will you will have was around 18 G's so yeah that was pretty huge uh, pretty huge and yeah you probably die but uh, there, there was a small chance of you to survive but uh, you know uh, 0.1 meters or, or around 10 centimeters not really manageable when, when you get launched from your motorcycle so yeah uh, especially if you 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 know uh, come flat to the concrete like this, and then the, the distance was too short. So how how you you know increase your chance to survive at, at that situation? Well, first of all, rolling your body might help, but uh, as you all know, not every human being could do that. You know, like opening open your uh, opening your eyes and then manage to roll out your body. Well, some people might do, but some some others. Or in general, uh, general conception, people might not uh, be able to think of uh, a move like that. Uh, but well, we can increase our chance of uh, survival uh, by being aware of, of our surrounding and then doing some some you know uh, simple tasks like uh, stretching your arms or stretching your legs uh, to increase the gap. Okay, to increase the gap uh, or the distance between you or or something. That, uh, that you will hit on. Uh, that's the simplest thing. Or maybe if, if you have uh, a wider vision and then you you can think clearly, you can maneuver yourself, avoiding that uh, that stuff like like a concrete, uh, uh, a wall concrete, or or maybe uh, you know some other obstacles uh, on your on your trajectory. So yeah, uh, how do you survive? Well, that's that's the uh, most uh, the simplest thing you can do 
just you know stretching your arm stretching your leg and avoiding or not really stretching but covering okay uh, so so uh, before before I got you know best in the comment section I mean like when you see a concrete in front of your head and you can just like this uh, do this like that uh, do that like this and then yeah you know uh, increasing the, the distance between the, the concrete and your head because uh, the vital the vital organ of course it, it was your head not really your arms your arms might be break but it is better to break your arms uh, than of course losing losing your your lives and then if if uh, the concrete was around your body you can protect it like this and then if that that was uh, the concrete was uh, all all of your body like that and then you can just you know do this or, or something like that the the concept is increase the gap so you you have uh, more 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 distance to decelerate decelerate yourself and yeah it, it it generally just like that and of course uh, you have to keep your body intact I think that's it for this video against my my, my deepest condolence to what happened to Sriwijaya Air all passengers I, I just I'm, I'm sorry I'm, I'm really sorry and I, I promise I won't uh, do something uh, you know make a fortune from that accident yeah like maybe putting some text like a craft accident etc no you can you can check uh, my video when when this came out i won't do that okay i think that's it for today thank you thank you very much to watch my video